Today I'm going to read Poppy Pickle, A Little Girl with a Big Imagination by Emma Yarlett. Disclaimer. No cats, dads, flying pigs, woolly mammoths, pet crocodiles, or giant talking hot dogs were harmed in the making of this book. This is a story about a little girl, a very special little girl. Her name is Poppy Pickle. Look, there she is. <laughs> Poppy Pickle lived in an ordinary house with an ordinary dad, an ordinary mom, and three ordinary cats. <clears throat> but, Potty, but Poppy Pickle was not ordinary, far from it practically non-existent, barely there, ready to burst. You see, Poppy Pickle was full to the brim with imagination. I present to you the incredible, the amazing, flying cat! Sometimes Poppy's imagination got her into a pickle. Poppy! Go upstairs and clean your room. Poppy went upstairs, but she didn't clean her room. Instead, she started imagining, and then, and then, and suddenly the strangest thing happened. Her imagination came alive. It was incredible. It was amazing. It was magic. Soon, Poppy was imagining all kinds of things. Poppy imagined big. Hello. Poppy imagined small. Pop. Poppy imagined far and in between, back to front and upside down. Never ending pocket money, a castle made of cake, a candy tree. Poppy Pickle imagined it all. A talking golden goldfish. Oh, hey, a space rocket, a baby T Rex, a ghost, a Mara Marachi bear. An uptight garden gnome, <clears throat> invading alien UFOs, an octopus with a mustache, crab Picasso, a chimp playing a cello, a, the perfect pet, a shooting star, a philosophical beaver, a magical unicorn, a tap dancing bunny rabbit, and a giant talking hot dog. Soon, Poppy's room was filled with weird and wonderful creatures. I would appreciate it if you would re refrain from paying me such attention. Goodness me, whatever next? Flying pigs? Whee, look at me! Is this real life? I feel like a bleached whale. Where you see a T-Rex, I see a canvas. My favorite food is little girls. I'm sure this does not comply with health regulations. I used to be just like you three. Poppy, I hope that's the sound of you cleaning your room. Jiggle, jiggle. Poppy was having the time of her life until it started to go very, very wrong. Help! Yum. Marry me. Is that an onion ring? Take that. Oh no. And then everything went from very wrong to totally terrible. Look, the lamb fell down. Puppy was in a huge pickle. She had to get rid of everything fast before her, her mom and dad found out. I don't want to be a ghost. I don't like floating. Ghostopus, crocobee, tea rabbit. Now my favorite food is little girls. Unimagining, the creatures didn't work at all. So Poppy imagined a giant eraser, but imaginary creatures are very hard to catch and Poppy was running out of time. Her mom and dad were at the door. Poppy Pickle, open this door. Knock, knock. No, without my wings, I am nothing. That's it, a door. Quick as a flash, a door appeared. It was hard work pushing everyone through, but Poppy did it just in time. I can explain. Look, he's wearing the lamp. It 
It took Poppy all afternoon to clean up the mess. When she had finally finished, it was dinner time. But she was still in trouble. Trouble. Big trouble. Poppy, you can't blame imaginary things. You shouldn't make things up. I'm not making things up. I'll show you. I present to you the incredible, the amazing, woolly mammoth. Oh, then fell down again. Ta da! <laughs> now they believe me. The end. You wow. Are you sure you want to send your live video?